What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shane and welcome to another episode here on 5 Star Cars, the car discussion and reaction channel and sometimes a bit of vlogs and hopefully we can get a project car as well. On today's episode we are going to be covering Savage Garage, Roy P. Exotics, Manny Koshman and a few others as well. Uh, if you're new to the channel, first time clicking on the video, wondering what's going on, do check out my other videos. It's just a car discussion channel guys, we're not news and all that shit. Um, yeah, we'll just kind of chat away and get your thoughts and reactions in the comments below. So do smash the subscribe button to help uh, the channel grow. And even better, it'd be dope if you just smash the like button and uh, definitely do comment below guys because I do plan to bring up your comments every Sunday as well. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to jump into this video and get it started. Uh, the first bit of news is Savage Garage. So Randy, uh, as we know, sold his Wira. Uh, he sold the CCX. And when he was selling all this kind of stuff, I was wondering, uh, he must be going for something big, like he has to be. And lo and behold, he, I think he is, he probably will buy a LaFerrari. Um, holy fuck, guys, it seems like a lot of uh, big YouTubers with a lot of money seem to be going for LaFerraris. Uh, Triple F Connection have gotten the Holy Trinity, they got their LaFerrari. Now Randy and just, you know, Houston from Royalty Exotics is talking about getting an LaFerrari as well. Um, I don't know, they seem to have dropped in price. Um, I think they were going for like 3, 3.2 million and Randy's saying this one is 2.4, but you can see why he's probably gonna buy it. Man, th when he starts up this uh, LaFerrari, it sounds sick. This one I know how to start. <laughs> Like, it's just unbelievable. I mean, how can you say no? If you have the money, a LaFerrari, I know, would be uh, probably in a lot of uh, people's top fives of the car they would want to have, reason number one. Uh, for me, it would be definitely up there, you know. Um, probably some of my favorite cards are for the Ferrari brand. Obviously, a LaFerrari would be up there. A white satin, white pista, and uh, the SF90. They're my three favorite Ferraris at the moment. Um, but yeah, I hope he does buy it. I mean, it'd be great if he did and be wondering if he would do anything to it. But you know, I, I, it's when you kind of go into that range of money, it's hard to do anything to the car. Um, but we, we will see if he does do anything to it anyway. So let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think about Randy uh, buying the uh, LaFerrari. Should he buy it or should he get something different? Um, next up is going to be RDV LA. We haven't covered these guys in a while, and just some of the videos I watched are just like I didn't want to cover them. But this one I had to cover because talking of Ferraris, they have gone away and put new wheels on a customer's SF90. Um, but also they had a F8 Tributo there and a 488 as well. Um, but it was just interesting to see because. First of all, as I said, SF90 is one of my favorite Ferraris out there. I love the shape of it, it's gorgeous. This guy was getting 21 inch wheels on the front and back. They lower the back, but you can lower the front, you can't adjust the front. There's no uh, coilovers out for these cars yet. And as he said, I'm pre presuming Novi Tech will be the probably first to have lowering springs for it. Um, so they ended up raising up the back because it was too low and it just looked off with the, the front. Um, and yeah, it, it's still a gorgeous car, even if it was whatever way they went, but they ended up just leveling it off. And uh, you know, the thing about me with Audi VLA, they're just so good. I mean, if I was rich in the LA, LA area, they would be the guys I would probably go to to modify my car if, if I had a supercar. Um, I just love the work they do, and they get some really high profile customers, but they just know their stuff. They just work on the best cars. And um, the white F8 is gorgeous, and the, the 488 they had there, they just have some of the best cars, and I love the videos they do. And they have good, you know, fun and uh, chemistry on the videos as well. So I recommend go check out the video, guys, if you want to hear it. I think this one might even be tuned and exhaust system. I'm not too sure, but my God, they Ferraris have been sounding unbelievably sick lately. I I really am liking them. Uh, next up is going to be Royalty Exotics. So Houston has come out. We finally found out the color about the CCX. Um, Oh my God, I'm ecstatic that he's going with this color uh, and it's even nicer than Stradman's purple. Yes, he's going with a very uh, vibrant, lush uh, purple. I mean, it is gorgeous. 
Um, this CCX is gonna look absolutely sick when it is finished. Um, I think he's changing the front bumper as well a small bit, but I cannot wait to see this this done. A purple CCX, I don't think anybody's ever done it. Fully painted, I think he said the paint job was like $40,000, which is fucking insane. Um, a lot of money, but Houston has the money to spend it. Um, he said he wouldn't, I think he, he was mentioning that the car cost him around two million. Anything more than two million, he said, isn't worth modifying, but it was in a price for entering to modify. Um, I hope he keeps the gold wheels. I'm as you will get to know me, guys. I love uh, gold and white, gold and purple, gold and red. Um, I just love that combination. This purple is going to look dope uh, on the CCX. I cannot wait to see uh, when it's fully finished. Um, he's also going on about, um, he got a, what was it, a 488 I think came in as well. And his A12 is being fixed also. Um, so it's, you know, there's a lot of work going on his channel. It's a pity he doesn't make as much videos as, as anybody else because they've really been doing well, I feel, on the video side of things and just the vlogs. And also, as he, if you haven't heard or seen, he has changed over Alex Rebuild's channel to Roy Peaks Alex Rebuilds. The channel has now been changed, uh, so if you're wondering, that has been done, so the Bugatti build should be coming up on that channel as well soon. Um, next up is going to be uh, Flying Wheels. So Flying Wheels, if you haven't seen him or heard about him, he's basically up in New England or New Hampshire, and he has a car dealership. He's been doing a series flipping $400 into a Ferrari. Um, his latest video base, he's been showing you. Um, the reason I, I'm covering this is because I've been wondering, is the States, we guys in the States and Canada and the UK and here in Ireland have been affected by the pandemic with the, with the, the pandemic, been affected by the car prices. Because here, car prices seem to have gone up. I, I, he was basically explaining the lots the, where the, he gets the cars. Have gone like a one and a half, two thousand dollars more expensive than they usually go for, um, and it's just very interesting to hear because it seems like across the board maybe car prices are gone through the roof. Let me know in the comments below wherever you live, uh, what car prices are like because here they have it's the same here. Like I mean, I'm trying to find a project car guys and cars that would be, uh, you know, a certain price. The car that should be three or four thousand, which is what I'm spending. Uh, is now you know five and a half six and a half thousand which I can't afford so um, but he's ended up buying a he's ended up buying a Camaro and um, I think he bought the Camaro for around did he say six eight and a half or eight eight thousand and uh, he I think he got something else but he's gonna flip it guys I would highly recommend going over checking his channel he's now at a point where he's gonna be able to fit better looking cars and uh, let's see if he even gets there because you just see the issues he goes through with the channel. It's it's really very, very interesting as well. So I highly go recommend like, checking out the link in the description below. And uh, next up is going to be Manny Cashman. So that's gonna be last actually, this is, be, this is Manny Cashman. I can't believe I've flown through this already so quickly, fuck me. <laughs> so yeah, Manny Cashman is gonna be up last, guys. He's buying another Porsche. This guy buys cars like, I swap out, you know, my underwear. I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. He's now specking out a GT3 2022, and he's asking his subscribers to spec it out for him. Um, yeah, it's insane. I mean, like, what way would I spec it if it was me? I'm boring, guys. I mean, I just kind of gave the way I like my cars. If it was me, um, white with gold wheels would be probably one I'd go for. Uh, the other one would be the charcoal gray with black wheels. Uh, or the other color he's thinking going is the yellow with black wheels, which would be my third choice. Wouldn't be too pushed in the blue or the red, uh, really. Um, but for me, my top pick would be white and gold wheels, then the charcoal gray, and then the yellow and black wheels. So I wanna hear from you in the comments below. What way would you expect the GT3? What color combination would you go? Wheels, silver, or whatever. Um, yeah, he's just, it's just sick the way he just easily would buy this car, spec it, and probably sell it on and end up getting an RS anyway. So um, Porsche, uh, car YouTubers seem to be loving their Porsche, uh, Porsches lately, like um, you know, DDE have been loving their Porsches lately, uh, Houston for Royalty Exotics, now Manny Cashman. Um, you know, a lot of people seem to be raging on about them and, and really enjoying them. So we'll see what way he specs it or who he goes with in specking it. Even a blacked out murder uh, GT3 would be pretty sweet as well. 
Um, but yeah, I'd be interested to hear your specs in the comments below. So that's it for today, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it as well. As again, just you know, smash the subscribe button if you're new. And uh, thanks a million to all the new people that have subscribed that came over from uh, my video about the CNC motors thing. Um, that is amazing. That's probably the biggest jump of subscribers I've gotten in one go. Uh, I will be doing uh, an interview or podcast with Victor uh, about his Porsche that uh, he, the CNC fucked up on. That would be tomorrow. Uh, that would be out tomorrow, that video uh, as well. So something free to look forward to, to hear his side of the story. Uh, so yeah, guys. So uh, till that episode, until that podcast, stay safe, peace out, and keep it lit.